Yes, I will ask uh, Brother Fernando, is he there for the first uh, subtitle, The Remnant Church? Thank you, brother. Do you have any comment, brother Fernando? Yeah, um, it's interesting how the over here, Pastor Petrov, compares what we have to face in the near future and what we will just face two, uh, two three years ago with the COVID 19. There's some similarities, but also he rephrased that how important is the church to be ready to be prepared to we start the persecution so our relationship with god in all our preparation or sanctification is a condition that the church has to to go through and get uh, itself prepared when this time comes we will be powerful to go pass through all this condition so that's something we cannot avoid and it's a condition to the second coming of Jesus Christ. And the church has a special role. He will testify, will be, um, testify before the world that Jesus is coming and we will be against the odds. So that's something we have to face. But the church has to be ready, has to be prepared. And only under the commandments of God, we, we will endure all these um, conflicts and we need to be ready, we need to be prepared for, we need to have the law of God in our hearts, in our thoughts, so you can be ready to face the situations. Amen. Thank you, 
Amen. Okay, now we go to the militant church. And we are, I am going to ask three sisters to read this if they are there. Sister Soila, first paragraph. Sister Michelle, second paragraph. And Mayra to read the third paragraph. Till the point, the spirit and power of Elijah. Please. The time of, of checking and testing is called the militant time of the church. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be, be delivered. For to the poor, the poor had child as soon as it was born. Revelation 12, 4, the great controversy in heaven as continent of earth, where it will even and good faith each other in terrible conversation. The church is the militant force on the side of God. For where were we not against flesh and blood, but at blood, but again principal ties at competitors, against powers, against the rules of the darkness of this world, against spiritual weakness in high place. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angel fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought, fought and his angel. Ephesians 6 12, Revelation 12 7. You want to say something, sister? You want to comment something about this paragraph, please? <laughs> I have something in English. Yeah. Okay. See. There's a little comment about what you read. Ah, uh, okay. Aquí habla acerca de acerca de lo que. Ah. Okay. No. Me va a ayudar. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, yes. Okay. Yeah, the, this first paragraph is, uh, is showing here the conflict that already started. Uh, it has started in the times when the, the battle was in heaven, when Satan battled against the God and his angels. And this basically through the whole history of this world. And it's, uh, it's a battle between the light and darkness. We see here in Revelation that uh, there was a uh, war in heaven, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought against his, uh, his angels. So we, this kind of uh, uh, battle we can see with our eyes. It's a spiritual uh, battle, but we need to understand that it's happening. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Then, Sister Michelle, please. Following paragraph, the church militant. Uh, the church militant is not perfect. All of the believers and members are in the process of sanctification, fighting the God fight of faith, losing and conquering, running but rising up again, striving for final victory. The white Salomon described this process for a just man for the seven times and risen up again. But the patient shall fall in mission. Uh, the just man is the one who gets up again and again. He never give up, but continues fighting and learning, gain new experience, surrendering to the leadership of the spirit. Uh, for this paragraph, uh, it's important that we uh, who are uh, members of the church, uh, even if we are not about this, but we know the uh, we know these uh, principal things that uh, God give us. Mm -hmm. uh, it's important to to continue uh, in this fight that. Mm -hmm. We continue in that 
we will get a great victory uh, yeah. here and also in here. Thank you. Yeah, very interesting. Yes. Uh, Sister Mayra, please. Yes. I remember how a system works. Receiving Bible students is stronger to become military. One Sabbath, she told us her experience for one month. She had no need to try for Baptist. One day, she passed the meat store and saw the soul soldiers hanging on the shelves. Her appetite was it, and she entered the store, right? One for it and ran home with the desire to consume it. However, before recharging home, her endurance ran out. She went into the house for the soldiers, out, soldiers of the package, package and the the correct thing. Very. She mm. said that that was the last time in her life. Um, that she consumed in me. Mm. So, Ashman told what she had done, that she made a final decision. Pray to God. And this receive the victory that made her um, ready, ready for right. love. Many times she remembered that bottle and this divide of her improved health and the joy of being vegetarian. This is just one of many similar experiences that the people of God have made in their way to the heavenly kingdom. Do not be discouraged in the time of your militant experience. Rise up and continue the your The Lord has a cure for those who are sick, not for those who are healed. He came to save sinners, you know, the self righteous, to be part of the Raman. We need to. The pain of grace, green dangers, power, right. and yes. salvation. Amen. Interesting. Uh, yes, sister, do you want to comment a little about? Okay. Mm -hmm. I understood that maybe uh, sometimes we try to change something in our lives, and we say, okay, and we pray, and we we think that, okay, it's a decision, but we don't, um, we, we don't, um, we, we don't say to God, uh, I feel like help. We don't, don't yes. have like, yes. like, receives uh, his help. And when we try to do something by ourselves, it's like not enough effort because mm -hmm. we need to have for we need to have the good help, the good help to to change something in our lives. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Impossible for ourselves to do improvements. Only yeah. God. Help us. And of course, do your best. That's right. Very nice. Um, Brother Stuart, can you help us reading the spirit and power of Elijah? Uh, if you can help us reading two paragraphs, please. The work of John was foretold by the prophet Malachi. Behold, I will send you Elijah, the prophet, before the coming of the great and vengeful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to children, and the heart of the children to their fathers. Malachi 4, verses 5 to 6. John the Baptist went forth in the spirit and power of Elijah to prepare the way of the Lord and to turn the people to the wisdom of the just, 
He was a representative of those living in the last days to whom God has entrusted sacred truths to present before the people to prepare the way for the second appearance of Christ. And the same principles of temperance which John practiced should be observed by those who in our day are to warn the world of the coming of the Son of Man. Christian Temperance and Bible Hygiene, page 39. Not only a personal reformation is expected by the Lord from his church at the end of time, but also a warning message to the world. The fallen churches are given false hope and practical truth about the plan, plan of salvation. Babylon is fallen, it's fallen, warns the word of God. In the, in the last message of mercy that will prepare the field for the harvest. Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Calls a voice from heaven. Revelation 18, verse 4. The spirit and power of Elijah will accompany this message. Interesting. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Can you comment a little about this, please? Well, I think that that message is self-explanatory. And I think that there's a lot in that that needs further study. But we need to, I think, analyze who is actually Babylon, identify who Babylon is. Mm. That also the people will come out from other churches. Um, the message, as it says there, will be uh, a twofold message. It was a message for their time, and it's a message also for our time. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Rada. Uh, Sister Zefulu, please, can you read the prophet Elijah living a turbulent time until Matthew 24, 12 to 13, please? The prophet Elijah lived in a uh, turbulent time in Israel, King Ahab and Queen Hezekiah promoted Baal, worship and total apostasy from the divine principle. I, in, in fact, the prophets honestly believe that he was the only one left of the faithful believers. This will be the experience of the remnants at the end of time. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, shall be fine faith in the in the end. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, but he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. Amen. Yeah. Do you want to comment a little sister Sepulu, yes. please? Amen. Very nice. And Sister Poppy, please, do you want to read the next two paragraphs? Okay. The message of Elijah on Mount Carmel was powerful. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long how she be between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. That is Baal, then follow him. And the people answered him not the word. 
He prepared the sacrifice to be offered to God, and in response to his prayer, fire came down from heaven and consumed it. The Reformation began with, with power, and all, the, all of the prophets of Baal were removed. The nation of Israel then understood that Jehovah is the true God. A similar work of purification and reformation is prophesied for God's people for the end of time. Elijah prophesied the coming of rain, and Elijah said unto Ahab, Get the up, eat and drink, for there is a sound of abundance of rain. When the true reformation takes place, the rain from the Lord will be poured out. Amen. Do you want to comment, sister, about? Yeah. Uh, as the people living in the end of time, they need to learn from uh, Elijah his period of reformation. Mm. Thank you, sister. Brother John, please. The next three paragraphs. Three? Brother John, Robic. It is true that in the time of the end of God's work, in the earth is crazy, the other servants put forth by consecrated believers under the guidance of the Holy Spirit are uh, to be accompanied by special tokens of divine favor under the figure of the early and the latter rain that falls in this land at sea time and harvest, the Hebrew prophets foretold the bestowal of, uh, of spiritual grace in extraordinary measure upon God's church. The outpouring of the Spirit in the days of the apostles was the beginning of the early or former rain. And glorious was the results. To the end of time, the presence of the Spirit is to abide with true with, with the true church. In oh. Germany was published the experience of a German brother from the Czech Republic. He refused to be drafted into the military during World War II. After he was in prison, the guards decided to kill him. They stopped giving him food and let him starve. After 20 days, they opened the door to the prisoner's cell, expecting him to be close to death. What they did not know was that God was in charge and he is the one who decides who will live and who will die. Mm. Every day, a rat brought bread to the brother in his cell. The guards were so afraid of the supernatural intervention that they let the brother go free. He personally told his experience. The spirit of the spirit and power of Elijah will be revived and demonstrated in the church. The apostasy of Babylon will be seen, and many will join the remnant as you part of as as you part of this important work. Amen. No good. Okay, brother, do you want to comment something? So, so, so we say here that when the that the rain falls, uh, many people will uh, will. On the cult of God, uh, the, the brothers in the church, the brethren will uh, will will share share God's truth, and uh, many people just like uh, after Pentecost, many people will come to the church, and the Holy Spirit will uh, work in the hearts of many people to to bring them. Bring it to the church before it's too late, before prohibition closes. Mm. And, and it's uh, not Satan who, who has got control of the, of the world. If, if, if God wants something to happen, he's in control. He will, uh, 
protect his people and protect all those people that uh, will come to God. And um, this, this outpouring in the latter days is been prophesied to happen and will happen before before probation closes. Yeah. Interesting. Yes, yeah, brother. Thank you very much. Now we are going to read the next two paragraphs by Sister Anita. Running away. What does thou fear, Elijah? I commission you to return to Israel and to stand before the idolatrous priest on Carmel. And I gird you with strength to guide the chariot of the king of the, to the gate of Israel. But who sent you on this as to fly into the wilderness? Whatever have you here, prophet and kings? The Lord asked when the when he met Elijah in the cave. Many times disappointment lead us to wrong decision. Running away is the easy way to avoid responsibility. Listen to and obey the voice of fear. In a similar way, the prophet Jonah attempts to run away from the solemn duty. Many are excuses with the human mean creates, but most are not accepted by God. So the, the master, master come to him and say unto him, What means thou, O sleeper? Arise, call up thy God. If so we that God will think upon us, what we perish not. The sleep condition of the church is great danger and the end of the time. The ten virgin of March 25 were waiting faithfully for the bridegroom to come, but they were asleep. The spirit of prophecy wrote, the preach, the preach world will be powerless for the conviction and conviction of soul. While I sleep, lazy and backsliding, sure are all that are left sustain the effort of the labor. The effort of Christ ambassador will be successful only when sustained by a endless pain working people. The message for the Laodicean church period declared, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and I will sup with him and he with me. Revelation 3.20. It is time for deep contemplation. Do I have Jesus in my heart? Or is he standing outside, knocking and seeking to enter? Are we asleep as Barcelona and ignoring the storm raining in the perished world? Are we running and hiding in a cave, afraid of consequences and persecution? If we hear the voice of the Lord, his word might be, what are you doing? Here, Elijah. Okay. Any comment, please? Yes. We have in the time of Elijah, no, when he he was afraid for the 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 this queen. Uh, the queen the name was uh, Josabeth. Josabeth. Yes, and he went. And he had himself in the cave, you no. Know? And he thought that all uh, prophets of God will kill, you no. Know? But there were many, you no, know, that they don't need kneel down to the Man. to the bar. Yes, uh, in the moment when there is uh, affliction or persecution, you no. Know, sometimes we we are afraid. No, but the Lord, He give us strength. No, we are in the time of La La Odisea, when all is very easy, everything is easy, and it's very dangerous 
that we must also become uh, like the them the the five virgins, no, who was negligent. Yes, the Lord mm -hmm. He said to us that we must have the spirit of Elijah, no, the formation in our life, no. Everybody knows his life. We cannot uh, uh, criticize the life of the other people, the sister or the brother. No, our responsibility is we our chance, no, our heart, our life, our character, no, and if we need that, we have to ask from God that help us to reform our life. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, the um, joining the ranks of the remnant. Brother Ferretti, please, could you read the next two pa uh, paragraphs? Then the rank of remnant. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them the gene of life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. And other sheep I have, which are on, on of this fold, them, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Mm -hmm. Another solemn responsibility of the remnant is to the faithful ones to be united. The Spirit of the Lord calls for the family of the Lord to be united and give the last message to the world that they all may be one as thou, Father, art in me and I in thee that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. Amen. Thank you, brother. Can you comment, brother, about this, please? Hi. Comment. Oh, comment. You know, we, we are sheep, and, uh, you know, we will, uh, our, our Jesus Christ is our, Servant and then I will look after that and things like that and we all is one and we can hear his voice and and uh, you know we the sheep hear the voice of our servant. Yeah. yeah, beautiful. Thank you, brother. And sister Malo, please could you read the next two paragraphs? The secret of the independent spirit of the remnant is the long path which is marked out of by the enemy. One who works outside of the organization of God's church is not free, his will. The pain of inspiration grows. Many have an idea that they are responsible to Christ alone for their lives and experience. Independence of his recognized followers on which Jesus is the prey of sinners and his heart is touched by his touch with their hope. He has all power both in heaven and on earth, but he respects the means that he has ordained for the enlightenment and salvation of men. He directs sinners to the church which he has made a channel of light to the world. Carry on? Yeah, yes, until you, until okay. you finish that paragraph. My yes. dear friend, will you not strive for a membership in the church? The reproach of Christ is greater, richer than all the treasure of the tubes of, of, of the world. Oh, that she consume meat, she will, she was so ashamed. And she was so ashamed of what she had done that she made a final decision to pray, pray to God and receive the victory that made her ready to Betsy. Many times she remembered that battle and mm -hmm. testified of her improved health and the joy 
of being vegetarian that this is just one of many similar experiences that the people of God have made of their way to the heavenly kingdom. Heavenly kingdom. Do not be discouraged in the time of your militant experience. Rise up and continue the journey. The Lord has a cure for those who are sick, not for those who are healthy. He came to save sinners, not the self self righteous, mm -hmm. to be part of the remnant. We need to defend and on Christ's righteousness, power, and salvation. Amen. Thank you, Sister. Uh, please, Sister. Um, I guess you were reading something that don't belong to the second paragraph, that, or I am misunderstanding you. Mm -hmm. Idea, friend, we do not yes. try for a membership in this church. That's what you read. Uh, just, just friends. Yeah. 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 Understand After the Acts of Apostles, page 122, there, there was another paragraph. paragraph. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My dear friend, will you not strive for a membership in this church? You, do you read that or you read something different? Uh, I think I read the different one. Okay, then please, can you read My dear friend? Uh, yeah. Sorry, My dear yeah. friend. Okay. Will you not strive for a membership in the church? The reproach of Christ is greater riches than all the treasure of Egypt of the whole world. Those who choose the world to come in protection, defense of to the present, were made a wise choice. Now it is the time to make your choice. It is uh, Ruinous to delay. Will you give me your hand to keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus, that you may have right to the tree of life and enter in with the chase, triumph through the gates into the city? Thank you. Ah, amen. Okay, sister, can you comment about this, please? Yeah, I say we have to be vegetarian. That's how we are. We can enter the heavenly. Heavenly. We have to take care of ourselves or maybe God will. Jesus loves sinners because Jesus come in this world for the sinner people, not come for the healthy people. Yes. For the, yeah. And that's Very, why yes. come to help us. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, sister. Thank you very much. Uh, Sister Elvira, please, could you read the next two paragraphs, please? Thank you. The final victory. To him that overcomes, will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. The church triumphant is the church of the very end. Blessed is the man that endures temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. Mm -hmm. The Apostle Paul exclaimed, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day and not only and not me only but also all them that are that love his appearing uh, we we all entered the cloud together and were seven days ascending to the sea of glass when jesus brought the crowns and with his own right hand placed them on our heads he gave us harps of gold and palms of victory. Here on the sea of glass, the 144,000 stood in perfect square. Some of them had very bright crowns, others not so bright. 
Some crowns appeared heavy with stars, while others had but few. All were perfectly satisfied with their crowns, and they were all clothed with a glorious white mantle from their shoulders to their feet. Angels were all about us as we marched over the sea of glass to the gate of the city. Jesus raised his mighty glorious arm, light hold upon the pearly gate, swung it back on its glittering hinges and said to us, you have washed your robes in my blood, stood stiffly for my truth, enter in. We all marched in and felt that we had a perfect right in the city. Amen. And, Do you want to comment something, Sister, please? Yes, we see that our little affliction and temptation and trials, which are necessary to perfect our character, will be changed with a glorious crown and a victory. And Jesus himself will do so marvelous things for us as we cannot even imagine now. And we have a, a beautiful a, a blessing and a hope, an enduring hope and a sure foundation and all power is given unto me and he gives, to, gives it to us so that we can become overcomers. Let us take hold of it day by day, moment by moment. And look in the future uh, on that glorious golden city where the redeemed will shine in the Father's light. Amen. Thank you, Sister. Sister Paula, please, do you want to read the last paragraph? The victory is multiple and wonderful. And I saw as he were a sea of glass mingled with fire, and then that had gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the hearts of God. The victory is over the world, for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. And he said to me, There are they which came out of great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God, and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the day and night in his temple, and he sat, and he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more, neither shall the sun light on them, nor in heat. For the land which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them, and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. The redeemed will express their great gratitude, for they know that the Lord gave them the power to overcome. They will bow down and lay their crowns at the Redeemer's feet. I saw the redeemed hosts bow and cast their glittering crowns at the feet of Jesus, and then, as his lovely hand raised them up, they touched their golden hearts, and filled all heaven with their rich music and songs to the land. And all the angels stood around about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts and fell before the throne on their faces and worshipped God, saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Yes. Thank you, sister. Do you want to comment something about? Well, here's the here's the end. We go through the tribulations and afflictions and all that, but there is victory. There is a crown, and there is a great city that God has prepared for those who have come out as remnants of the saints of the Lord. Thank you, sister. Yes, uh, I appreciate very much the cooperation of every brother and sister for this uh, lecture to be read it and give your comments. Uh, I have with me something from the Spirit of Prophecy that was uh, pointed 179 years ago about the remnant. And I appreciate very much that every one <clears throat> of my brothers and sisters give full attention to these uh, statements because here is the real spirit of the remnant. 1844, 
A spirit of solemn and earnest prayer was everywhere felt by the saints. A holy solemnity was resting upon them. Angels were watching with the deepest interest the effects of the message and were elevating those who receive it and drowning them from earthly things to obtain large supplies from salvation fountain. God's people were then accepted of him. Jesus looked upon them with pleasure for his image was reflected in them. Now, we were indeed a peculiar people. We were few in numbers, without wealth, without worldly wisdom or worldly honors. And yet we believe God and were strong and successful, a terror to evil, evil doers. Our love for one another was steadfast. It was not easily shaken. Then the power of God was manifested among us. The sick were healed, and there was much calm, sweet, holy joy. This is the real spirit of the remnant, my dear brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. tempted, tempted, persecuted, but you remain calm and faithful. No, this is real, great, and wonderful. And then the time will come when you will receive power to heal the sick and to proclaim this message with the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus Christ, amen. 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 Yes. Now